All right, week three, Bengals and 49ers, Paul Brown Stadium, not sold out, <laughs> not even close to being sold out. So no local television because of archaic NFL rules. You will hear the game live on ESPN 1530 kickoff at 1 o'clock. Now the home opener means everybody's getting Bengals gear. And so here's my plea to the ladies. Women, you look awesome in football jerseys. You can take any look by any woman. Nothing tops a nice looking lady in a football jersey. You guys with me on this? Yeah. Now these are a little bit big. <laughs> that works. Or you can go with the women's style jersey. That's fine as well. You can take any kind of sports apparel. Football jersey, baseball, hockey, even basketball, even those hideous basketball jersey dresses that Beyonce wears, awful. Soccer, even an MMA singlet. Nothing is better than a woman in a football jersey. So ladies, if you're going to the game, or hell, even if you're just gonna go watch it, wear a jersey. The guys will agree with me, this is an incredible look. Now let's talk about this football game on Sunday. It hasn't been a very good week for the Bengals. You have Cedric Benson suspended, not for this game. You have the Jerome Simpson situation, which continues to be as fluid as bong water. But you do have a game that I think the Bengals can, and I'll say it, will win. I think this game is won by Mike Zimmer. I think he figures out ways to slow down Alex Smith, and he figures out a way to stymie a San Francisco offense that has gained only 415 yards in two games. I think they figure out a way to neutralize Ted Ginn Jr. Here's how you do that. Don't kick him the football. Does that make sense? And I think the Bengals offensively figure out ways to keep Patrick Willis from disrupting him. And I think Andrew Whitworth slows down Justin Smith. Who would have ever thought that a game at Paul Brown Stadium would come down to slowing down Justin Smith? You can't run on San Francisco. They have the best running defense in the league, but you could throw on them. They're 25th against the pass. And whether Jerome Simpson plays or not, I think Andy Dalton's going to be able to have some success against him. I'm a little bit shaky with this pick because there's a lot happening with the team. They could be without two wide receivers, but I like Mike Zimmer. I like Andy Dalton, and I like the Bengals. Show them the score, sweetheart. We're going 20 to 10. Revenge for Super Bowl 16 and 23. The Bengals will be two and one, and we'll talk about it on Monday at 3:04 on ESPN 1530.